Hi, good day. My name is Akande Sherif Ibiodun. Are you looking for a profitable business in Nigeria? Yes, you are in the right place. Today, I will be talking about, about a turkey farm. A turkey, please, you are welcome to my uh, channel, Yoruba Programmer. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. You might be wondering why you need to invest your money into this business. First and foremost, I'm happy to tell you that this business is highly profitable. We all know that federal government already banned the importation of turkey as well as chicken in the country. Because of that, the demand is very high and the market is readily available. Now, let me quickly talk about how do you make your weekly return. First and foremost, you invest your money, you buy a turkey, turkey of like five months or six months old, then afterwards, the, this turkey, they will be laying egg for you. Then these eggs, you take them to the archery. Then afterwards, you sell uh, after a month. The archery is going to hatch the egg for you. And you, you have your day old turkey and you sell it. Immediately at the point of collection at the hatchery, the buyers are already there. Even if you have 10,000, 20,000 turkey, buyers are already there. They are ready to buy it from you. Now, let me quickly tell you how it works. Majority of the YouTube videos you see when you, when you just type on YouTube, which business can I do in Nigeria? They will be telling you, you can do car wash, you can do poultry, you can do this, you can do that. But the question is, how do you get started? Let's say you, don't, you, have, you have zero knowledge. You don't even know what you need and you have money you want to invest. That is why I make this video. Now, first and foremost, you need to register your company. And of course, if you are investing just small amount of money and you are going on a small scale you might not even need to uh, open the company then the second thing is the business name let's say you want to open you don't have enough money to open your company you can actually go for business name which costs less than forty thousand naira. in fact there was a time just only a few months ago the federal government the federal government in nigeria they were even doing a kind of bonanza and they give around 15,000 naira just to open a business name and if you want to go for company name also for like a 5 million share order you can even go for 1 million share order you can go for 2 million share order 1 million share order it costs less than 70,000 to 80,000 it depends on what exactly you want and who's going to do it for you afterwards let's talk about the things you need to get started first of first and foremost you will need a farm building the fa farm building if you are going for small investment for sure you can just rent an apartment or you can rent an uncompleted building or if you see a completed building also it's okay or if you see any unused farm you can just rent those things it depends on area but for ibadan for example you can still get anything around seventy thousand. though if you go to Lagos, it might be quite expensive than this. And if you go to other places, maybe Osu, Ondo, and the lights, it might even be cheaper than this. It depends on which area you want to locate your farm. The second thing, if you are a huge investor, you want to invest heavily into this business, then it's always a good idea to have construction or to construct your own farm site. Now, afterwards, you need to note the following whichever case you go for you have to make sure that you have adequate clean water that first thing the second thing road accessibility because when your turkey uh, lean egg you have to move these eggs from your farm to the to the archery then during the transportation the egg you know egg yolk it might get deformed because road is not good so it's always a good idea to put to locate your farm in a place that it will be easy for you to move your egg around and then the security is also one of the things you have to make sure at least you need to have a fence in your farm building it's always a good idea so uh, it's always good idea to have at least at least a fence in your farm building now for security purpose then what are the procedure you might need to do for the you might you might need to uh, put in place the first thing is workers 
farm supervisor though it's optional if you are going for a very small scale and you have enough experience it is optional for you to have a farm supervisor but if you have zero knowledge about this it's always a good idea to have a farm supervisor or consultant that person is the one that will be giving your turkey the vaccines and some other necessary things the second thing you might have a farm coordinator or a farm manager all right and if you have enough time you want to manage it yourself of course you can manage uh, you can manage it yourself it's not even compulsory you have a farm manager so you are the farm manager on your own you are also the consultants but you need to have enough experience on this now list of the things you might need to have the first thing is farm building the second thing is the farm demarcation and setup equipment. You might be thinking, why do I have to demarcate the farm? You know, I told you earlier, if you are going for a small scale or medium scale, let's say, let's say around 200 chicken, 300, uh, 200 turkey, 300 turkey, then there is nothing wrong to have like eight rooms or 10 rooms. If you have eight or 10 rooms, each room, it needs to be demarcated into four sections or sometimes it might be sick section and each section you will put turkey there which means let's say you demarcate it into four section and you are having 10 rooms four section 10 rooms then that will be 10 times 4 that will be 40 sections so and each section you'll be putting turkeys there then afterwards then it's up to you how many turkey are you going to put in each section sometimes you can if you are going for four one ratio four which means one male four female each section you can put around five turkey in each section which means in one room five times four you'll be having yeah, you'll be having around 20 turkey inside a room you'll be having a 20 turkey inside the room and you can multiply it by how many number of rooms you have then you need to have a farm coordinator or farm manager then you need to buy your turkey also which is point of flea we call it female turkey point of cross we call it male turkey when you want to buy this it's always a good idea to bring someone experience along so because so that they will not cheat you likewise you need to know about the vaccines you are going to give your turkey of course this is the work of the supervisor or coordinator or, or a, a farm consultant is going to do that for you then you need to know about the feeds we do have two type of feeds we have grower as well as layer so when you just buy your turkey five months old or six months old then you'll be giving them gora then afterwards after they started laying eggs you can give them a layer you will give them the feed that is layer okay in section in uh, in part two of this video i'm going to talk about what are the estimated costs how much is it going to cost you for for medium scale and what are the tools and the things you need to get started in case uh, you need a detailed business plan please don't hesitate to message me or to uh, to email me yobaprog at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe to this video and like thank you very much bye see you in next section